Hey everybody, my name's Mark. I'm President and CEO here at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida's leader in alligator safety and education since 1949. I reckon we know a thing or two about alligators. Gatorland has been woven into the fabric of the Central Florida community for over 70 years. We'd like to share some alligator safety tips for all of you that maybe live in the Sunshine State or those of you that have recently moved to the great state of Florida or for all of our friends that are visiting us from anywhere around the world. Well, the weather's heating up quickly this year here in Florida. And although we love this warm weather in the Sunshine State, well, this early spring weather might be confusing some of our animals a little bit. In fact, it looks like the alligator breeding season's starting up a tad bit early this year. Florida's filled with bodies of water from the ponds and lakes outside your back door to the beautiful beaches and intercoastal waterways. When you hear that there might be alligators in every body of water in Florida, well, it isn't quite that bad, but they could be just about anywhere. Even on our local golf courses, alligators have lived here for millions of years. In fact, they're found in all 67 counties. So here's a few things we've learned in our 75 years of working with alligators. We hope these tips help to keep you safe and sound while enjoying all the wonderful outdoor activities that our great state has to offer. First of all, pay attention to your surroundings. Lots of folks getting their exercise outdoors these days. Stay alert, because alligators can turn up just about anywhere. Parking lots, hiking trails, storm drains, and even your local golf courses. You gotta play that ball where it lies. Leave alligators alone. That's some of our best advice. State law prohibits killing, harassing, feeding, or possessing alligators. Even handling small alligators can result in serious injury. And never feed wild alligators. It's dangerous and it's illegal. When fed, alligators lose their natural fear of humans and learn to associate humans with food. And that's where the train wreck begins. These alligators that get used to humans and start hanging around homes, well, they'll have to be removed and euthanized. And look for signs of alligators. Do not swim outside of posted swimming areas or in waters that might be inhabited by alligators. Closely supervise your children anytime they play in or around the water. It's important to be aware of the signs of alligator presence, such as tracks, maybe a big mound where they would nest, or a large puddle of water that they like to lay around in. Look for slides also where they go back and forth into the water. Alligators are most active between dusk and dawn, so stay out of the water at night. Dogs and cats are similar in size to alligators' natural prey, such as raccoons and possums. Don't ever allow your pets to swim, exercise, or drink near waters that may contain alligators. Dogs often attract an alligator's interest, so don't go swimming with your dog. If you're fishing, keep your catch out of the water and dispose of fish scraps in a secure, covered container. Alligators are beautiful animals, but it's best to observe and photograph them from a distance. Remember, Alligators are an important part of Florida's natural history as well as an integral component of our aquatic ecosystems. Now, if an alligator happens to be chasing you, it ain't your lucky day. Don't run zigzag like people tell you. That's an old wives' tale. I, I think where some old wife was trying to get rid of her husband. Just run away as fast as you can. Now, in the very rare event that an alligator does grab you, make as much noise as you can and hit him as hard as you can around the eyes and the nose. He'll recognize that you're not his normal prey and hopefully he'll let you go. But if you get grabbed, fight as hard as you can as if your life depended on it, because it very well may. Now, large adult alligators are most mobile and unpredictable while breeding, nesting, or raising their babies, which generally runs from early April to early September here in Florida. So be extra careful around the edges of ponds and lakes during these months, especially areas of thick lily pads or vegetation and always stay away from the water's edge if you see an alligator. Do not ever approach hatchlings or baby alligators. Baby alligators may seem cute and harmless, but mama gator is always watching. So approaching or trying to grab hatchlings puts you and the animals in a very dangerous situation. Now, not all alligators are a threat. In fact, they're generally afraid of humans. If you don't start feeding them, most cases they'll just go on their own way. If you have a large alligator hanging around, well, that can be dangerous. Call Florida Fish and Wildlife on their toll-free nuisance alligator hotline at 866-FWC-GATOR. As human and alligator populations continue to grow in Florida, encounters with big alligators in neighborhoods, well, it's just bound to happen. 
Now, a major focus of our conservation arm, Gatorland Global, is to help protect some of these big old gators that, well, they're 30, 40, 50 years old, and they just ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, we work with a number of the nuisance alligator trappers here in the state of Florida. Catch these guys alive, bring them to Gatorland without euthanizing them. And we'll pay the trappers to bring them here, and, well, we let them live out their lives in alligator paradise. But don't call us, because we can't come get them. But if the trappers will bring them to us, why, we'll give them a forever home in one of our big, beautiful lakes. Coexisting with alligators in the state of Florida means respecting their presence and abiding by all precautionary measures to avoid conflict. Alligators can be found in any body of water in Florida, including your swimming pool. Well, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but maybe take a look around before you dive in. Hey, if you want to learn about alligators and the beautiful natural habitats that they call home, come on out here to Gatorland and see us. We have 2,500 alligators and crocodiles. You can safely feed them and learn all about them. In the meantime, get on out there. Enjoy the beautiful outdoors of our great state of Florida. Be careful. Stay alert and be safe.